thank you, Anas, for uh, ensuring the transition. And sorry for this uh, technical issue. So uh, I don't know if you can see the slides. Uh, um, I think you have to share your screen again. Sure. Right. So, uh, as of the agenda, it was uh, uh, about uh, having introduction on the platform, its functioning, some prerequisite to use it, and also a sharing of experiences on from our side as users of the Wikimedia incubator. And at the end, we can have a Q and A session uh, to interact with you. And if you have any question or uh, comment, you can feel free to to ask. Uh, so, as uh, I introduced you just briefly, the, 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 the Wikimedia Incubator is a project of the Wikimedia Foundation. It started uh, 15 years ago. It, ha it just has celebrated uh, its uh, 15th birthday yesterday. And uh, the, this uh, the, its objective is to prepare the launching of new versions in new languages for the Wikimedia projects. And the platform uh, permits uh, the organization, the preparation, and the testing, and also the coordination between the community members, between uh, contributors who uh, gather around this project, so that they can work on a fully uh, new uh, linguistic version. And eventually, once uh, the this project is uh, is uh, is prepared and is uh, ready, it has it, it can be hosted by the foundation. So that it can be uh, published online to the, the, the whole audience. Uh, the incubator is a uh, is a passage which is obligatory uh, to have a fully uh, uh, published version on Wikimedia projects. Uh, so uh, so that it can be Wikipedia, the encyclopedia, uh, the dictionary, and many others, as we can see. Uh, the platform, as uh, I mentioned. Uh, incubate several versions, linguistic versions of the Wikimedia projects. And it, uh, it has uh, throughout the years been able to uh, publish new versions of the languages, uh, uh, the encyclopedia Wikipedia, the guide Wikivoyage, uh, the, the book, uh, the, the collection of books, the uh, Wikicode and uh, of uh, uh, quotes also, the Wiktionary, and the, the Wikinews website for news and uh, uh, and also the platform of books and manuals, Wikibooks. And uh, in 15 years, uh, 135 new languages were uh, new versions uh, of, of uh, projects where have been published. And the lastest one was the one uh, uh, in Mon, which is a language spoken in Myanmar and Thailand. And this is the, the newest version. So uh, throughout the years, uh, many versions we've been able to be published and especially the, to make sure that these languages are well documented are and are also being present and to serve the community they are uh, who spoke it and also to uh, prepare uh, knowledge in that language. For example, this language, the moon, in uh, uh, which was just published uh, a few months ago, is classified by the UNESCO as uh, a language in danger. So, this way we can make sure that these languages are documented, especially for the case of the Wiktionary. And we will have, uh, I think, tomorrow two more sessions on the Wiktionary to see how the Wiktionary uh, works. And the Wiktionary specifically is a way to document the words and their meanings in that language. Uh, and to, uh, to achieve this objective of documenting on a dictionary, the incubator is the phase uh, to go with. Uh, as of the functional, uh, the, the platform is, is here, as you can see uh, on my uh, right. So uh, the access is by logging. You can log in to have your contribution, but also there is a possibility of editing uh, with your own IP address. But the issue is of the IP address is that it can it can be lost easily, and we cannot keep track 
of the uh, the the contribution so the best way is to have an account there and log in and make sure that your contribution are are uh, are well uh, documented the platform is centralized uh, which means that every project is there no matter uh, the language no matter the version so all passes by the platform uh, which is uh, in english prepared but we can have translation in other languages uh, the tools used there are similarly to other tools of the Wikimedia uh, projects, uh, which means the editing, the consulting, the history pages, uh, the discussion pages, and many other uh, tools that are accessible for the users. But also, it can be we can have more functionalities at, at our disposal in case we want to have uh, better uh, functionalities. For example, we can run for adminship. We can read, run also for adminship there. So it depends on at the level we can reach so that we can prepare ourselves into having a fully uh, published uh, version. Uh, by having a test adminship, we can prepare ourselves on how to deal with uh, vandalism pages, how to deal with contributors who just there for, for uh, by passage to work and uh, make some mistakes so we can better deal with such situations. Uh, as of the prerequisite, so uh, before talking about the, the LGBTs conditions, we have to mention uh, the role that the committee language has. Uh, the committee language is an intermediary between the foundation and the communities. Uh, it approbates uh, and ap approve the new versions of languages and also their the they're putting online so for their uh, uh, approvals uh, any language must have and possess its own uh, iso code uh, which is which are codes uh, by the international standard standardization organization and uh, actually there are um, uh, around 8000 language with this uh, valid uh, iso code and the second condition is having sufficient number of uh, speakers, uh, native speakers, uh, and also living native speakers who can uh, to form who can form a community of uh, contributors and also of public and audience, so that the our uh, uh, works there can be easily uh, read by other people, and also we can attract more users to be. Uh, to, uh, to introduce to be introduced to the project and the, the last prerequisite to have uh, an own uh, project is having a status of a language that is uh, unique in, in a sense to so that it cannot be existing or coexisting with another language with a broader framework uh, for example i thought of uh, a language that is very localized on a city so it can be considered as a dialect or a variant of this language so the the more the language is, is spoken by more people the more that we have more audience for, for it and it is it will be easily uh, it ha can have its own uh, project and uh, once these three prerequisites are, are met then the language committee uh, approves uh, the fact that we can have a project dedicated to this language on any language you are choosing either wikipedia or others and then once uh, our our project is ready then we have to contribute to it so the project is is published on the incubator so and now we have to contribute and look for as much as possible of contributors so that we can achieve our goal which is at the end of publishing the uh, the project and uh, making it alive. Uh, once the work is is uh, is, is going there, uh, a member of the language committee can propose its approval uh, to move from a wiki test to a fully uh, wiki published version. And otherwise, once the contributors feel ready and consider that their work is uh, uh, achieved it, in its stage of uh, of preparedness, they can also ask of approval so that the language committee will review the, the whole work and also assist it so that it can be also approved. 
from my experience, uh, so this is will be the experience part. Uh, I have personally worked on uh, two uh, versions of Wikipedia in two different languages. The first is, is Moroccan Arabic, which is Darija. And the second language is Tashl Hit, which is one of their variant of uh, Tamazight or uh, Berber. So these two, these two uh, versions uh, have gone through the incubator. One of them is fully uh, published, which is the Moroccan Arabic. And the second one, the Tashl Hit is still there and we have been working uh, on it. And uh, from these two experiences, I can say that the work on the incubator is a collaborative work and a, a sense of community. So we have to uh, gather as much as possible of contributors and to also to have uh, clear objectives and strategies. So uh, the objective at the end is to publish the, the, the work, yes, but also we need to clarify how we will achieve it. So uh, is by working on the content itself or on working on the numbers, on how we will proceed, uh, which, which are the tools that we have to look for it. So this make us uh, aware of our our duty and also make us uh, uh, in a sense that we have to uh, prepare ourselves for something bigger once the project will be published. Uh, at the same time, the work on the incubator has uh, some inconveniences. So uh, there is some skills that are needed, uh, uh, especially that uh, the skills that are related to the editing, so one has to be aware of the tools there and also uh, competences uh, in terms of techniques. Uh, while preparing a new version of Wikimedia projects, you have also to prepare on the to work on the templates and uh, the modules and other technical stuff. So uh, few people are uh, familiar with these tools and through time we have to look for the adequate person to help and facilitate this task so that we can uh, have uh, a page which is very uh, has uh, well well defined, well presented, with clear uh, links and everything. So these sk skills are needed, and through time we have to look for this kind of people. And also there are some challenges uh, to 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 overcome. Uh, the first one would be. Uh, the fact if the language is spoken, not written, so it's make us make a new effort and big effort into writing it. It is a kind of standardization efforts from us. Uh, I don't think that uh, for, for our case, Moroccan Arabic, the state and uh, its institutions uh, does not have such uh, ca capacity. So we gathered ourselves and uh, and met a group of teams so that we can uh, make sure how to write this language after discussing on uh, the, the type of script and also uh, the technical technicalities so uh, uh, some some uh, grammar stuff some also some uh, uh, how we say the documentation of this language how it should be written uh, verbs and other other uh, other work that is must be done at uh, a, a big a bigger uh, scale so this by taking this initiative we also take uh, on our hand a big effort to standardize this language so this is one of the challenges we try to to overcome and to to meet but also there there are some other challenges challenges uh, for example uh, as i said before the the Wikimedia incubator is, uh, first of all, a version in English. So, for example, languages written in Arabic script or any script that is written from the right to the left, it must be also changed. So this is some some problem we try to fix. And also through time, we understand that some, some competencies are very needed and we also have to improve this incubator uh, work. Uh, over time, uh, the challenge will be the knowledge we are sharing and the quality of knowledge we are sharing to the audience so that it can be accepted by all, uh, uh, so that the access to information will be easily access to everyone. And by uh, 
by note we have also used some tools that were presented earlier today for example ningua libre tool we have used uh, some pronunciations uh, and also some spoken articles of uh, of uh, of this this uh, this written text and also there was some collaboration with other uh, organization and other projects so that the work will be complementary and we will complement each other so that objective will be fully uh, attained and reached and also to bring a new experience to the to the users and also to the audience uh, i bet uh, some content in moroccan arabic or tashil hit is not uh, really uh, or available uh, available to the audience so we are kind of at the forehand to in in our our scene in preparing such such knowledge and such uh, content uh, in the same way uh, languages around the world will proceed with the same way uh, to put language in their own language and also to uh, make their uh, the speakers aware of uh, of uh, aware of it and also to comp contribute to it uh, we need to attract more users we need to attract more audience and this uh, incubator is a learning process on how to attract these people and also it's a learning phase on how strategy we have to conduct and to prepare in order to promote and also preserve uh, the languages that are in danger and also in uh, uh, that, that can be lost easily uh, especially that if it can it is uh, spoken uh, this is a brief uh, overview of our experience also and also about the project and i'm looking forward to hearing your comments and uh, uh, questions and uh, thank you all and uh, shukran uh, merci and uh, ten mirs okay thank you very much reda uh i don't know like there's any question i think at the beginning someone had a question but uh let's see if the chats remember that you can write it in the chat or raise your hand if you have any question and reda can answer your question i think krishna had a question but it's let's see i think that is no longer okay he doesn't have a question anymore so you can ask your questions also in french if you want if you're more comfortable exactly. remember that or in english it's up to you and also so, in, case, in case something wasn't clear in english i can also re-explain it in french if you want so if you like yeah i think um abel oh, i'm not sure how to pronounce it asks how he or she can get in touch with you um like that uh actually i can put my uh, email and the username on the chat also it was communicated to the uh, to the team and uh, i can also reach out to abel directly if you if you or he wants sorry okay and i think oh no sorry go ahead no go ahead no i think there's a question here that eugene uh, as sorry for the language but please what does one need to start incubating a language so eugene asks what does one need to start incubating in a, a language uh, sorry i cannot see the question here yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna put it in the in the chat that, okay. but how you can start incubating a language how do you do that okay, how sure. you start it you know here's the question uh, so uh this will bring me to the slide that I presented before. Uh, the you have to oh, pop, 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 here. So the, you have to present your uh, application or candidacy to the language committee, and the language committee evaluated through these uh, conditions: the fact that that this language has its own uh, ISO code, and also the number of uh, speakers, and also. Uh, member of uh, audience and also being unique so i will try to put the exact link of the uh, the the request and uh, you can also check uh, before if the your language you are trying to work on is really is already there so that you, you will not it cannot be duplicated uh, several times and also you can also propose 
new versions on new projects. For example, in case that language has a test wiki in uh, for Wikipedia, you can try to start it in other projects, for example, Wiktionary and many others. Uh, I will look for the link and put it in the chat. Okay, great. We have another question from Lucas. Uh, à quel point c'est difficile de trouver d'autres personnes pour commencer un projet sur l'incubateur? Euh, le, le problème serait l'intérêt vers, vers, vers l'initiation de ce projet. Euh, peu de personnes sont intéressées par euh, initier de, de nouveaux projets linguistiques. Euh, donc, euh, il nous est difficile de convaincre des gens. Euh, par exemple, pour notre cas, le, la Darija ou bien l'arabe la, marocain, on, nous avons constitué une équipe restreinte entre les membres de notre groupe, notre user group, comme utilisateur. Euh, on avait une, une petite équipe qui avait des objectifs clairs de faire de ce, de ce projet un projet phare. Et une fois le projet a été publié, d'autres personnes nous, nous ont rejoint. Donc, de cette manière, nous avons aussi attiré une, notre audience. Et aussi, nous avons aussi euh, 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 fait agrandir nos, nos rangs de, de contributeurs. So, donc, le, la, la meilleure des manières serait d'atteindre premièrement l'audience et de cette audience pour attirer de nouveaux contributeurs. OK. Uh, we have another question from Antoine. Is there a to-do list templates and pages that need to be prepared when a new project starts? Actually, it, uh, there is not such a uh, list, but, but there are some list of articles that are necessary to be uh, written there. For example, a list of articles, for example, earth, water, and uh, planet, and many others. And in terms of template, it's up to you to decide how you would like to put this project and how you'd like to uh, present it. So uh, it depends on how uh, you compare between the existing projects and also uh, the way you would like to uh, to to present it. But uh, overall, there, there are some templates that are uh, necessary. For example, a template for portals, a template for uh, info, info boxes, and template for categories and for uh, references and citations. So there is some list that you can, uh, in, in case you are a Wikipedian or Wikimedian, you, you are, you, you can be aware of the such uh, tools that are necessary and also duplicated in that language after translating it. Okay, great. So I don't think we have any more questions. Uh, if we don't have any more questions, uh, we can continue with the next presenter that is around here. 